Okay, uh, good afternoon everybody. Uh, Graham Nimi back here. Uh, I'm actually out here in my driveway today. Uh, it's my best space to uh, talk about defensive ground balls uh, using a long pole or a version of a long pole if you got like a, you know, shorty that's kind of a long, um, whatever works for you. Um, so matter with the pole and we're going to talk about picking up ground balls, um, which if we were talking about just defensemen in general and what we look for and talk about for being really good on the defensive side of the ball with a long pole, we'd like to see guys um, obviously that can understand team defense and cover people and um, know how to slide and all those other things, but we want to see guys that are skilled, right? Um, guys that can handle the ball, okay, can throw, catch, shoot, um, pick off passes, and of course, pick up ground balls. When you talk about defense, all right, um, one of the things we always talk about is how do you end a possession, right? Um, so you're on defense, you do a whole bunch of good things, you slide, you know, OT moves the ball, but how does the possession end? All right, and those ways are out there, right? Saves, obviously, are one of them. Uh, running out shots is one of them. Um, knocking, down, knocking down passes is one of them. Picking up ground balls is another one. Um, I think it's a skill that's undertaught, um, and so we're going to talk about it a little bit. I believe um, that you pick up the ground balls with what I call a quick cradle technique. Um, I don't teach scooping. Uh, I just don't think it's always relevant to a whole bunch of different situations. So we teach all of our poles how to quick cradle. Um, so a quick cradle is basically, okay, a cradling motion, which I'm going to show you here. All right, it's a cradling motion, okay, down here below my waist. All right, my grip changes a little bit. I'll bring my hands in here. I actually bring my thumb over. All right, my bottom hand thumb is kind of where it is uh, when I'm, oops, sorry. When I'm handling the ball here, okay, up the side, maybe on the top a little more. My top hand, instead of being up the side here, it's a little more over. Um, and so my technique is actually a cradle, all right? So I'm just going to demonstrate the cradle part of it first, okay? And you watch me here, and you can see how my left hand, if we're just to isolate my left hand, and okay, my left hand doesn't even move, okay? It's just letting the, the, the shaft rotate. I'm not pulling up, okay? I'm not, sorry, I can't even cradle like that. I'm not twisting down, doing nothing with this hand really, just kind of staying pretty stationary, all right? Whereas my top hand, if you were to watch my top hand, what you're seeing is, you're seeing all the action right here of my top hand. And my stick, okay, is actually going upside down. Now, when you talk about your pocket with a long pole, all right, your pocket, if you look at mine here, the one that I have, okay, the surface, okay, so when you pick up ground balls, okay, if you have a low pocket, all right, look at how far Okay, the ball has to go to actually get into my pocket. Okay, if you have a high pocket, like this thing's awesome, all right, the ball only has to cover a very small surface area to get, okay, to where I want to have the ball in my pocket, which is up here. Okay, so now, it's a quick cradle. All right, so when we pick a brown ball up, okay, I don't teach scooping, though the technique, the technique is the same, hands low to the ground, but I pick it up in one cradling motion. All right, so I'm putting the ball down here, I'm picking it up, okay, and it's one cradling motion, all right? And you can see my bottom hand isn't doing much. My top hand is snapping the ball up. Lost one there. Sorry, guys. All right, it's snapping the ball up off the ground. Okay, it's a fast motion, all right? Stick goes upside down, all right? And the thing is, when my stick is in this position here, upside down, and I get checked, believe it or not, the ball stays in, all right? And if it doesn't stay in, where does it come out? It comes out at my feet. All right, now, a scooping motion, which a lot of people teach, and that's not the wrong thing necessarily, um, but it's just not what I teach. All right, a scooping motion, okay, the, the open part of my stick is here. All right, and I'm bringing the stick up. Now, if I were to get checked, ball comes out high, okay, I don't have control over it. With a quick cradle, the ball comes out of my feet if I get checked. All right, and I just go pick it up again. A quick cradle also allows you to pick up balls that aren't necessarily right in front of you. All right, like ones that are right here at my feet, I can quick cradle that ball up. I missed that one, sorry. I'm allowed to miss a couple. All right, so they're right here at my feet. I can quick cradle those. Down here below, I can bring my shaft up vertical. All right, I can quick cradle that ball. All right, missed that one. I miss some of them sometimes. All right, also, if you're in there on defense somewhere and the ball pops out to the side of you, all right, I don't have to turn and scoop it or right, run through it. I can just grab it with a quick cradle and then take off wherever I got to go. So. How to practice it this is always the hard part so what i would do if when i was when I, when I was home okay like you guys i would start with a low cradle and work on 
that feeling, I lost the ball again, guys, sorry. All right, I'd work on that feeling, all right, of having that ball, okay, in the higher part of my stick. I'd work on that low cradling motion, all right. Then what I would do is just walk around and work on it. Pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. If you're having a hard time, go back to the motion. Go back to the motion. Fast, right, slow. Just get a feel for it. Okay, and then, like I said, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up. All right, and then as you get better, if you have a yard, I don't have much space today, I'm out here in the cold. All right, start rolling the ball to yourself, going through it, keeping it low, all right, putting it down. Now, one thing to remember, your cradling motion is in, okay? So I'm gonna lose the ball here for a second. This is in, in towards my body. This is out, okay? You, this is not a cradle, okay? You're just wiggling the ball out, and the ball's gonna go that way, okay? We want a cradle in. Anything done in stays in front of us when we miss it. Anything done out, well, listen, there might be a situation where you have to snap it up and go here. Got it. I'm talking about basic, fundamental, pick up the ground ball. All right, so we're gonna talk about cradling in. In, this is out. We don't wanna be out. We wanna be in, all right? Uh, hope that helps for all you guys. Um, question might be at the end of this is do you teach this to your short sticks tough yes in a way we do um, but we don't necessarily explain it all that way because we always want our short sticks to be really getting over the ball um, so different technique which I'll talk about in another video um, but you can still use the same motion with your short stick right if you want to work on okay I just imagine I got the short stick here I don't have me right now I can go down like this okay and work on my quick cradles all right my hands low to the ground my chest over the ball my knees bent I can still make that same motion and bring the, uh, the head of the stick up to my face. So, guys, thank you. Sun just came out. Uh, looks like it's going to be a nice evening. Uh, work on your quick cradles. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Go FYL.